Hello friends and welcome to my first episode of Emergency 4. Today we're going to be playing the West Coast Canadian mod, seeing as how well I'm a Canadian and I thought it would be fitting for us to do our first episode in a Canadian modification. Um, this mod is supposed to be based on Vancouver Island which is completely on the opposite end of the country from where I live. But I thought it would be fun, and we'll see how things go. See if I can keep control of the city and not have too many issues. Units respond for traffic control due to a malfunctioning train crossing gate. We've notified local transit to stop all train service in that area. We're also notifying the city to send one of their engineers and a I do not have the ETA. Oh look, the RCMP. Now we gotta get the engineers out here. Central be advised, I'm 1097 in the area. Almost there. We'll put their traffic directors on until the engineers get there so that well people don't get squashed by a train that would be very very bad there's our engineers Oh look, they can get floodlights. <clears throat> Almost there. Hooray, we finished. Almost there. It's done. Go ahead. One down, unknown number to go. <laughs> so, this is a pretty amazing mod. Like, some of these apparatus are just astounding. Like, for instance, this engine here in its station too. You know, it's, uh, it's beautiful. We actually have one similar to that in my station in real life. Um... The ladder's also nice, like, look at all these textures, they're nice, clean, crisp. Um, and there, as you can see here, you know, in the ladder truck it says Langford, I know it's kind of hard to see, but Langford's a city in British Columbia, which is where basically this mod is based. Um, you know, in the BC Ambulance Service. Ambulances and EMS supervisor. Engine 77, rescue 78. Respond for an unknown medical. RP says that she sees a subject lying face down. We're advising PD. Uh, of course, of course, of course. There had to be a heart attack at the hospital, of all places. Roger. You know, that sort of thing does happen, but normally you wouldn't call an ambulance for it. A bunch of doctors would rush out and 
take care of the patient, get them inside. But unfortunately, this is, of course, a video game. So, it's okay. Let's see here, we'll get a couple more. Officer Zeus. Uh, I do like the CVSE. Gotta get that medical kick going and what can this guy do? He can do nothing. Copy. <coughs> hey. Oh look, CVSE. Go ahead. I don't know if you can hear that through my microphone, but there is an ambulance going by outside in real life and that's mostly because the hospital is just down the street from where I live, so... Like, my god. I do apologize if I start coughing. Um, I have been trying to fight a cold and unfortunately it's not going so great. Shit. Squad 79, rescue 9. Respond for a multiple vehicle accident with multiple subjects trapped. PD's <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. It's okay. Like, look at those lights, my god. The sirens, so beautiful. God, I hope this doesn't blow up. Oh shit, we got a fuel tanker? Oh uh, fuck. Pardon my language. We have a fuel tanker involved. We're gonna need hazmat. I gotta get a chief out here. This is too risky. It's 
Where's our ambulance depot? Up here, good. So normally at an instant uh, incident like this you would definitely have hazmat on scene and nobody would be this close you know but Ten four. What I am going to do though is I am going to mask up a guy and send him in As long as we keep these vehicles cool, Roger. we should be okay. Almost there. It's done. Ten four. Almost there. Let's see what can we? No, don't send people. Call me a hazmat squad. I want hazmat right there. See, it's buying them and it's dispatching them. So I don't I don't quite get that. That has not eunuch on too. I don't know. Um, how's this guy doing? It's done. Here we go. Let's get him on a stretcher. It's done. I see Vancouver Island Health Authority right there. It's okay. And there we go, that one's taken care of, but now we gotta go back to here. guys get any new equipment? No. Um, I am going to get this guy to get Ten four. the Jaws of Life. I want to get three tow trucks up there because they're going to be needed. Okay, so the truck and that are good. Roger. I gotta get another ALS ambulance. Up 
here. They should be able to handle that. Ten four. So yeah, like normally all this spilled liquid would be mopped up and they'd be using foam on this instead of water. Because, well... The foam will stop the gas from creating vapors and it'll help prevent a fire from starting. Um. I want to get at least one guy out of here. For now, anyways. Roger. It's okay. Yes. Yeah, no. They wouldn't be driving through that. Like, that would have to be decontaminated and everything right now. has my guys aren't really needed right now. Send them back to HQ. How's this going? Ah, it just shot down into the alleyway even further. It's okay. At least it didn't ignite the building. Yeah, that's a bonus. <laughs> no way. It's okay. Okay, good. We got our second or our third ambulance on location. Let's go with these guys. Equipment stretcher. Stretcher from ambulance. Yes, almost there. Roger. Almost there. 
ten four. Roger. Two vehicle. It's okay. Yes. Yes. Central Lobby 1019, 1051 to the station. It's okay. This guy's all packed up. Got a barricade suspect down here. Roger. It's done. You back to the station. Almost there. It's okay. Almost there. Yes. All right. Yes. Suspects in custody. Ten four. Engine seventy seven, almost seventy eight, squad seventy nine, rescue nine. Respond for a multiple vehicle accident. Central Lobby ten nineteen, ten fifty one. Lead advise on additional rescue if needed. Roger. Yeah, we get a call. <clears throat> Sound the alarm, boys. Sound the alarm. Let's get an engine company on scene. Shut down that fire hydrant. Roger. Can you first aid? Why can you not oh, check victim? <coughs> it's done. Roger.
It's okay. It's done. No. Nope. It's okay. Um. Copy. Let's get this officer to check the vehicle. Say we're gonna need a truck on scene. Just because of the mechanism of injury. Roger. And because we want to make sure that we don't need the jaws. Mm. Yes. But at least we can redirect the traffic with the officer. Second ambulance on location at this place. <laughs> it's okay. So we'll get him healing. Enter vehicle. It's Enter vehicle. Um. Good thing we got two ambulances in this place, cause we need them. It's done. We've only got one up here, but he's going over Roger. here. See, there are always a lot of traffic collisions in Vancouver for some reason. In British Columbia in general. I think it's because they got so many people, I don't really know the exact reason. Either that or people just can't drive, you know, but it, as bad as they are, you know, it it can be kind of funny when you think about it. Ten four. Having mm. basically people driving around who should not be driving at all. Uh, need a tow truck here. Central be advised, I'm ten ninety seven in the area. So that there in itself was a vehicle versus pedestrian versus fire hydrant. Now that fire hydrant's probably going to be out of commission now. And I'm gonna have to get an engineer in to repair it. Okay. Yeah, you come here, tow truck. Almost there. This fire truck can go back to station. Tow truck to headquarters. Gotta get out of here. Roger. Over here. 
Put down your medical bag. Control you to equipment structure. Grab your stretcher. Roger. Do that. Attention all units. Code 37 in progress. Code 37. No weapons seen. We have no vehicle or suspect descriptions. Units break and cover. Where's Air One? Central, be advised. I'm 1097 in the area. Let's get you in there. <laughs> so much for that stolen vehicle. Now we gotta get a tow truck. Sentry, be advised. I'm 1097 in the area. Hooray! We obtained 2,000 points. LFD, PCAS, RCMP, Physical Rescue Assignment. Okay, let's see here. Almost there. Those two gotta get out on patrol. Police helicopter. Here we go. Here we go. Awesome. So we got suspect in custody and police on the move. And now we just got this lady here. Let's get your stretcher. It does rain quite a bit in British Columbia, especially in the winter time. Um, I've noticed that, but oh my lord. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's guess a uh, firefighter paramedic with an SCBA. Almost there. In there. Um, three firefighters. It's okay. In there. 
So if you're wondering why I'm not taking it, this rescue truck, it, it it's mainly because, well, yeah, screw it, I'll, sh I'll show you. I'll take it out and show you, because there's no easier way to describe it. Um, you notice how it's got a full thing? Well, I can't send it to the fire station. The game will not allow me. I have to send it back to the HQ. Roger. I gotta get here fast before we have an explosion on our hands. Uh, let's just send two ambulances. Roger. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. We will rapid deploy you. Take you out. Take off a Disconnect you from the pump. You're gonna operate the pump. You're gonna grab your EMS bag. Jaws of life. No, you idiot, get out of there. You're not supposed to be in that. Spot. I know this person is too severely injured. Okay, well, at least we got the fires out. Um, two tow trucks. Central be advised, I'm 1097 in the Roger. area. Roger. It's done. It's okay. It's okay. We gotta get this guy on here. Uh. Roger. We can transport Roger. him. So I think it might be a good idea if all engine companies carry at least one paramedic. And mostly because in real life most engine companies do carry a paramedic. And that's generally because, well, there's more fire trucks than there are ambulances in a city. And, it's okay. you know, face it. If there's more fire trucks than ambulances in the city, then... You'll have faster EMS response times. And there goes another ambulance in real life. But yeah, so see, with the Rescue 2 truck, you can't send it back to fire station. So I'm going to return it to headquarters. Uh, 
And that just seems to be the way things are these days. Um. But anyways, let's get this guy it's off okay. to hospital. It's okay. It's done. No problem. Let's get this truck. Oh, come on. It's okay. Here we go. It's done. Okay, tow truck. No problem. Get you in, get you in. It's done. Do this. And I'm sorry, folks, but we're going to have to wrap this up. I have to yes. drag myself to work. Um, Roger. Oh look, we can't even. Yeah, so it, we're definitely glitched here. Um, it's done. It's okay. It's done. Yeah, and anyways, folks, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I might get another video up sometime next week. I hope you enjoyed, and if you enjoyed our video, please click the subscribe button, and any suggestions or comments for mods to do, leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you. Enjoy your day.